Oh, you're back. Right. Do you have time to talk? I owe you an apology for doing my own thing back there. I just couldn't afford to let that asset get away. <clears throat> that Deathstalker and I have quite a history. What I want to know is what it's doing on the island. Its territory should be a long way northwest from here, around Otsuki Castle, Governor Ishido's old stronghold. Not that anyone calls it by that name anymore. Not now it's surrounded by snow. You hear it called Fuyu Fusagi Fort now. Hmm. Ah, it's too much for my brain. How about paying the sensei a visit? with you two. You both look very grave. Well, uh, it's a long story, but... What a fascinating development! Arasetsu has covered the Summery Spirit Isle in ice, you say? Oh, yes. This warrants a detailed investigation. <clears throat> it's quite an unusual phenomenon, indeed. You would never normally expect ice kimono to appear somewhere with such a disparate climate to their usual habitat. Maybe not, but that's what's happened. It looks like hell's frozen over there. Quite literally. Kimono are like humans. They avoid inhospitable areas. They naturally accumulate in areas that are favorable to their existence. Now, imagine the prevailing climate on the Spirit Isle. Would you expect an ice and snow kimono to choose such a sultry location? At the very least, wouldn't it be drawn to the more moderate temperatures along the Harugasumi Way? This Death Stalker is powerful enough not to care. You remember Otsuki Castle, the seat of Governor Ishido, don't you, Sensei? It was magnificent. Blossoming flowers all around, life everywhere. Now they call it the Frozen Fort. True. It's a shadow of its former self these days. The kimono brought blizzards and ice to the whole area. Hmm. I think there's a correlation between the failing of Minato's Karakuri years ago and the increasingly violent kimono activity since across Azuma. The fate of the Great Bear may be relevant too. I hear the area where it once slumbered happily is now a barren wasteland. The natural environment in these parts would appear to be undergoing some sort of rapid transformation. That sounds... plausible. Or not. I'm no scientist. So... what's our move, Sensei? Well, we can't afford some protracted observation of kimono behavior now. No, we need to focus on this wolf. If my hypothesis is correct, I'd expect to see a physiological change in its gut in any part of its body that absorbs celestial thread, in fact. Right. So I guess it comes down to you again. Huh. A little overzealous, no? I hope you know what you're letting yourself in for. Still, we can't afford to ignore the threat this wolf poses to Minato. Uh, there is one problem we need to address first. The kimono's primary habitat is around Fuyufsagi Fort, but I hear the cavern that leads there collapsed during the Earthbreaker's advance. So, we'll need to clear the way before we can proceed. See if Ren and her crew can help with that. That should come from you. She owed you a favor or two, doesn't she? You're not getting away without helping, Michishige. You know the way to the old castle better than anyone. You can be on guide duty. Uh, well... I'm not really feeling it at the moment, so you'll have to make your way alone. I need some space. The Tsuruhashi clan have a good name. 
they won't shun at that. I haven't been properly introduced yet, though. You'd better be the one to ask.